Hey guys, welcome back to Half the Battle. This video I am actually very excited to do. What it's going to be is an unboxing of a Battle Box. And what Battle Box is, is a monthly survival and tactical subscription box. Uh, I believe the prices run anywhere between $30 and $40 to start, up to $150. I'll, get it, uh, I'll put the prices in here somewhere. Um, and yeah, this guy right here is the 150. It's the big one. Uh, it includes what they call the Knife of the Month Club. So it's got a, an extra add-on plus all the other cool gear of uh, a cool knife. So what we're going to do is get this cracked open and check it out. Um, one thing I'm going to do is it's going to have a card in here. I've seen these on other videos. And it's going to have a card in here with the supposed or claimed value of each item. And so for each item we check out, I'll go ahead and throw up on the screen somewhere, uh, somewhere in this area. Um, the actual value of each one of these items that are coming out of here. So let's pop it open and check it out. I've been waiting a whole month for this guy, so can't wait. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the card out and go through each one of the items one by one through the card so that we can uh, see what we got in here. All right, here we go. So here's the card. And uh, let me focus in on it here. I don't have a camera in here with me, so can't really zoom in on it, but I'm gonna go over each one of them. Um, yeah, the, the prices run from basic, advanced, pro, and then knife of the month club. Um, it doesn't say the actual cost of each one of these on here. Here's a little inf more info about about it, it's called, this is mission number 53. It doesn't say the actual cost that we pay here, but it says what the value is on each one of these. So let's, uh, let's check it out. Um, first thing up on here in the basic is a nine line apparel collapsible denim trail bowl. And it says that has a value of uh, $30, $29.99. And I believe that is this guy here. And they're calling this a uh, collapsible trail bowl, so. Let's see. Okay, it's definitely denim, like I say it is. Uh, so there's that, I mean, open it up and see. Okay, okay. It's a, it's a bowl. I mean, you know, I guess it could be a, a dog bowl. It could be a, a good source of, a good thing to scoop up some water if you need water in it. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I'll have to look this up and see what the exact use of it is. Um, Again, each one of these items, I'm going to put the real price on the screen here, or not the real price, but the price you can get it normally or the cheapest price I can find easily. Um, they're claiming this is a $30 value. Uh, personally, I don't know. I don't know anything like this, so I couldn't tell you what the value on it is. Uh, for me, it, it's not a big, uh, big deal item. Um, this actually may end up being in one of my future giveaways here because this isn't something I'm super into. But uh, I would say, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 bucks, maybe. I mean, it is by Nine Line Apparel and they're, uh, they're kind of a higher end brand. So maybe you got to count that into so maybe 20 bucks, but I, I don't think 30. I don't think this is a $30 item for sure. But, you know, it's cool if that's the kind of thing you're into. Um, there it is. Uh, yeah, let's go to the next thing. That one was a little disappointing. Uh, okay, the next thing on here, they're calling a Bushcraft Rope Lighter. And they're claiming at a $25 value or $24.99. Now, I've seen this pr prior. Uh, I did get an email and it did tell me a couple of the items that are in here. And this is just a standard rope lighter. Now, I don't think these go for $25. Um, it's just your standard rope lighter. Um, these items, some of them I'm going to go ahead and make a follow-up video for for individual items like a little in-depth look of how they work or how good they were so on and so forth just a little more of a review type video rather than just an unboxing and this is going to be what i'm going to do a video of because i've seen a lot of these used incorrectly um, there's a certain way this gets used there's a certain way that you have to prep it before use and i see a lot of youtube videos up and other videos up elsewhere of you know really incorrect usage of this particular item. So I'm going to go ahead and do another video on this. They're claiming it's $25. Honestly, I'm guessing this is a $10 item. Um, I maybe, I don't know, maybe because of the specific brand Bushcraft, maybe that's, uh, you know, maybe that's because it's a special brand. I don't know, but these lighters, you can get them for five, $10 on eBay all day long. No questions. Uh, it's coming, it comes with little directions on the back and this actually will probably tell you how to use it correctly. Um, a lot of people do not do 
but you need to with these first. And that's important. You do have to do a couple of prep steps or at least a prep step prior to using this. So this is something I will do a future video on. Just a short one of the correct usage, how it works, how well it works. I mean, obviously they're good. They've been around forever. I'm guessing at least a hundred years, if not longer. Uh, some people call them trench lighters, bush lighters, uh, rope lighter, but they've been around a long time. So it's, an, it's a good item. Um, I'm happy with that one. I like that. That's something I actually am, you know, somewhat into. It's cool. I don't think it's $25, but it's cool. Uh, okay. Next on the list is a potty packs uh, shit kits. Um, I'm not monetized currently, so I don't have to worry about that too much. But if I was, that would probably <laughs> not be something I want to say. Uh, that's these here. Okay. And I believe they're little, uh, they little kits. Let me see. It says instructions on the back, do your business, toilet paper, plus wet wipes, a disposal bag, hand sanitizer, and be a happy camper. So essentially this is, uh, some toilet paper and some wet wipes and a bag so that, you know, you're not going into a hole and using leaves. You, uh, can actually pick it up, you know, get rid of it correctly. Don't just leave a biohazard behind, uh, clean up your hands, so on and so forth. So it's a cool little thing to have. I mean, I have tons of MRE toilet paper, so this isn't anything that I would need too much. Again, this is probably something I'll throw away through, throw away. <laughs> well, I'm not going to just throw it away, but throw into a giveaway, um, at some point. So there's those, uh, they're claiming this to be a $5 value. I don't know. Two of those for five bucks. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't think so. And that's what you would have got in the cheapest box right here. These three items right here would have been, no, nope, not the knife. I don't cover that up. That's the most expensive one. But uh, these three items here would have been in your cheapest box. That's your basic box. Now, the advanced box adds on to that a couple more items as we see here. I'll get into them. And you get those three plus these next two items. Um, one of the next ones is a Gerber Suspension NXT or, or Next without any, uh, it's this guy here. Again, I saw this as a preview in an email, which was kind of cool. I mean, I guess it's cool. I, I wish it would have all been a surprise to be honest, but you know, whatever it is, what it is. I, I got to see it. So, and I knew it was something that was kind of, you know, good. It wasn't horrible. Apparently Gerber and Fiskers are the same company because it says it there on their little card. Um, this is a little information that comes with. And here it is. Now, in the in the email, it was a black one, which I, I think I would have been a little cooler. But it's just your uh, it's your standard, you know, multi tool. Um, not much to say about it. I may do a more in depth video on this if anybody's interested in it. Uh, it's you know your standard Leatherman type multi tool. It's got your pliers. It looks like it's got on the outside here uh, Phillips, uh, some sort of small knife, a flathead with a small ruler on this side we're rocking a pair of uh, foldable scissors it looks like yeah these are scissors definitely little little scissors let's fold back in oh okay and it's got a lock system okay so when these come out they actually lock out you can't just push it back in you got to pull down on this little lock nub here uh scissors another flathead can opener bottle opener uh, or can opener then bottle opener down here i suppose it's, it's like a dual type thing here and a, another kind of small blade. I mean, it's just a, you know, your average multi-tool. Um, when I saw it in the email, I wasn't like, you know, thrilled about it. It may not be something I keep because I, I do actually already have a Leatherman. So it, it's not, you know, I don't need the bag. Um, it's not something I was too thrilled about, but it wasn't something that was awful either. You know, uh, some of these boxes I've seen videos of and, and you know, previews of and reviews of and, some of them were just horrible. They just, you know, weren't anything I would actually be interested in at all. So I might keep this as a backup. I may throw it in as a giveaway at some point on my channel. Who knows? Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Now, the next thing in here says it's a Stan Sport three pack. Oh, I didn't do the, the value on this. They're saying this is a $37 value. This is a Gerber multi-tool. It's not a Leatherman. So I'm going to say it's probably around the $25 range. I mean, these are my guesses. You're going to get the real price up here. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was right. Um, maybe I'm way off base. Maybe I'm not so far. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, they're saying that's a $37 value. Next item up is going to be a Stan Sport three-pack waterproof pouches. Stan Sport waterproof pouches. Okay. Okay. Here they are here. Um, and they're given a value of that of $8.99. Let me check them out and I'll see if, you know, I agree or disagree. 
I suppose it doesn't matter much. I already purchased it, but uh, okay. And there's three of them in here. It looks like there's three. Yeah, there's three different sizes. This is the smallest one. And uh, it says, yeah, okay, there's some instructions on the front here about how to open it. Open from center, do not pull from sides. Okay, so you, you open it and then you put your stuff in there, you roll it up, it folds up. It's just a waterproof pouch. Um, these kind of things, actually, I may use. We do six flags uh, kind of often here during the summertime and we go on some of the water rides. And I like to keep my phone in my pocket. And while it is a waterproof phone, I mean, it's an iPhone, so it, it is more or less safe from that. It'd be nice to keep it completely dry. Or if you're, you know, you're, you're camping or in a caught in the rain kind of situation, or you probably even use them to hold water. Um, you know, emergency situation, there could be a nice little water bag. Um, so that's kind of cool. Uh, again, it's not something that I'm super into. I'll probably hold on to them, throw them in my day bag, throw them in there and, you know, maybe I use them, maybe I don't. Um, they're claiming it's a $9 value. I, I could see that. Yeah, I agree with that. And that's probably $9. You know, it's not anything, uh, amazing but it's not horrible it's it's a no it's a decent item something i might use um okay and that was all of the advanced items so that's the basic that's the advanced each level kind of adds on to the next one the next one is the pro uh, pro tier and it's claiming that total is a 150 or 165 value and what this is and this one again i saw a preview unfortunately i think some of the best items they, they sent a preview of in the email which you know that kind of kind of sucks if you're into the whole surprise thing but i mean i knew i was buying this box to do a review for you guys do a unboxing for you guys this thing right here is one of the probably besides the knife this is the main reason i, I was really cool about this i really liked it um this is what they call a survival mag and it's your standard uh ar-15 5.56 223 mag um it's a 10 round mag so california legal uh which is nice for all those people or other let's say let's say restricted state legal we always say california legal but it doesn't you know there's other states that have similar restrictions and what it is it's a 10 round mag on the top it's in a 30 round so round mag a standard size shape and, and length but there's a 10 round mag on top and on the bottom here is a survival kit um this little thing let's see i don't know if you push these into the sides it slides out, but let me, uh, I, I'm going to do a, a, a definitely a more in-depth um, video for this because this is a really cool item. Um, it doesn't quite say what's in it, so I'd like to get it open for you guys. So let me see. I believe you just push in on these metal clips on the side and it slides out, but I can't seem to get it. Well, anyway, I'm going to do a more in-depth video of this. This is a really cool item. Um, it's by a company called Got Your Six. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's by a company called Got Your Six, and they call it the Survival Mag. Um, and <clears throat> like I said, it's basically a standard 10-round mag in a 30-round body. And okay, yeah, Pierre's saying it's 5.56. But I mean, you know, we all know 223 fits in the same thing most of the time. Most guns can fire both. Um, I'm sorry. I shouldn't say that. Uh, I don't want to get anybody out there in trouble. Make sure your gun can fire both. Uh, but anyway, it's claiming it's a 5.56. Um, let me see if I can get it open. I really want to get it open for you guys so I can show you what's in here. Because in the preview, it was really cool. Um, it doesn't come with any kind of instructions, I don't think. No. No, there's no instructions on it. So I'll have to look it up. Uh, I'm pretty sure you just... Yeah, it can tell it slides out from the back. But I can't seem to get the clips down. Which, I mean, in a survival situation, that would not be very good. I don't know. No, I don't know if the bottom slides. Or the top slides. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it comes apart. But I'm going to figure it out. I'll put a video up of a review or an in-depth look on this guy for sure. Because this was one of the cooler items in here. Uh, it really... You know, in restricted states, you can only have 10 round mags anyway. So this is going to give you your 30 round look, but with some additional functionality, uh, having that little survival kit in there. It's got some matches and some, you know, standard survival stuff in there. I think it's got a little knife even. It's pretty interesting. Um, we're going to do an in-depth look on this one for sure. So watch for that in a future video. I'll, I'll figure out how to get it open because <laughs> right now I sure can't figure it out. And see, that's going to be your pro. So if you went pro level, you would get all that stuff and this, and that's it. Um, the final part of this whole thing, and I'm going to go ahead and take it out and put all this stuff back in the box, is this knife of the month. Now this month, the knife is 
by Mantis Knives, and it's what they call the gearhead. Um, oh, that got your six survival mag. I'm sorry, I keep making mistakes on this video. Um, they're saying it's a $59.99 value. I believe that's what it goes for on their site. I'll look around and uh, previously I will have put the price in for that. Um, anyway, on to the Mantis. Uh, this is the Mantis Knives Gearhead. They're gonna go ahead and claim that it's a $199.95 knife. And I can't contest that because I have seen postings of this knife on eBay. I've seen it at other places and that's about what it goes for is $200. Um, when I got the first email leak, I call it a leak or a preview of this box, this was the first thing that they leaked. And that's when I knew I wanted to get the box because obviously, well, for 150, I, I got mine for 130 because I had a coupon. Uh, but anyway, for 150, you're getting your money's worth with this knife alone. Now, we're gonna do an in-depth look on this knife. I wanna do a review of it once I've actually checked it out. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and open it and give you guys a look at what it looks like. Now, this knife has a unique opening system on it. Um, there we go, oh wow, it's pretty decent looking. Um, it's got this gear system in here. Now that may very well be a gimmick. It may be, you know, an innovation, I don't know. I I'm gonna guess it's a gimmick. I'm gonna guess it's just, you know, for looks and just to be kind of cool. But uh, at first, it's kind of hard to see, you know, figure out how this knife opens. You know, you can pull it open, obviously, which, you know, standard, type opening no no big deal but then you also have this function here where you can use that little gear system to open it um it's a liner lock it doesn't have the thickest lock in the liner there we're going to do a, a more in-depth video so i'm not going to go over too much of this knife right now but it's a decent looking knife um i don't like i said i don't know that this is not this is an innovation or anything. I think it's just a gimmick, really. It's a decent looking knife. <laughs> There's a little play in the gears. We're gonna go over it real, real in depth in another video. But oh, there we go. Yeah, I think of a little bit of a little bit of playing with it, it'll it'll function nicely. Um, but there it is. That's that's the final item in this box. So what you would have got totally would be the knife going in reverse here. Now you get the knife. You get this uh, pretty neat little survival mag. I'm gonna figure out how to open that and do a, another video on it. <laughs> kind of silly that I can't get it open, but hey, um, I've never used one before, so. And it didn't include any instructions. It would have been nice to have some instructions on this card. Maybe it has them in there and I didn't see it or I didn't get it, I don't know. You get So you would have got the knife for the 150 level. You get the knife, you get the mag, you get your, Gul uh, Gulba, you get your Gerber multi-tool uh what was else on that oh yeah that was also for that level you get the bags these little waterproof bags kind of a you know interesting little item um then on the basic was the first three items which was the dog bowl i don't know if it's a dog bowl but i guess that's what i would use it for personally i mean i don't have a dog but if i did that would be a good hiking bowl for my dog walk bowl for my dog uh denim bowl the uh butt wipes you know, toilet paper type kit, and the rope lighter. So out of these items, the items that I actually really care about in any of this, uh, I would get rid of those. I don't care about that. I definitely don't care about, you know, the, the bags, maybe. Uh, the rope lighter, I probably won't ever use it, but it's a good, cool item to throw in your, like, bug out bag, your day bag, whatever, you know, keep it in your car, maybe. So I'm going to definitely check that out. Uh, the multi-tool, like I said, I, I, I use a Leatherman usually, but this might be a good backup. Uh, then again, though, I think a lot of this stuff's going to end up in giveaways in my future videos. So honestly, if I were to pick just, you know, the items I really will end up using, it'll probably be these three. So, I mean, out of a $150 box, I got three items I might use, you know. Uh, and the knife, I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it, maybe I won't. It doesn't seem super practical we're going to do an in-depth look on it though and we'll get into it this i'll definitely keep this will end up going in my uh case and you know holding on to that that's a cool item to have but anyway that's the box um that's the breakdown of it we're going to have some future videos here coming up soon of a uh, closer look at some of this stuff you know like i said the knife the the mag the, the lighter um 
I don't use anything else. I mean, if you want to see the multi-tool, I can do a, you know, a video of multi-tool, put a comment down below. Um, I'll do an overall total here. I'll throw it in the corner of the price I could have got all this stuff for, uh, in the real world, you know, shopping. Uh, I'm not going to do super in-depth searches, but light Google search, you know, what comes up on the first couple pages, what can I find these for price prices for what my eBay, Amazon, that sort of thing. And I'm going to do a total down here because they're claiming the total on this box with this knife is a $365 and 91 cent value. Now that very well may be true with the suggested retail values of these items, but I don't think that's the real world value because some of these things I think they're, I think they're shooting a little high on, but uh, I'll put the total down here. Um, if I had to add it up, let me look at the, the, the bowl, I would say 10 or 15 bucks, uh, the, the lighter, I would say five or 10. So we're at, you know, 25, the potty pack, sure. Five, yeah, 30 bucks. Uh, this is 200. I'd say maybe 250, maybe 250 for all of it, which is not bad for a $150 box, but I'll put the real price up here. We'll see if I was wrong. If I was right about the items, the prices will go along with them. Um, and there you go. Yeah, that's it. That's the, uh, battle box mission 53. Uh, I believe this one was called each one has a little name, but I don't see a name on this one. So, um, Anyway, usually each one of these has a name, but it's Battlebox Mission 53. These are the items that you would get. I believe you can still order it on their site, or you can get in for the next mission, which will be next month. I will not be able to probably get that one. Uh, I mean, these are $150 a box, and the channel is very new. So until I start making a little money back off the channel, I can't keep dumping a ton of money into it. Uh, I will do what I can do. But that's it. Um, that's all of it. And uh, in-depth look on this guy, this guy, and this guy coming up soon. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. That's the main thing I need right now. If you guys could subscribe, it would be very appreciated. So anyway, thanks guys. Much love.